Welcome to the 12 Days of Gismas series. Um, this is day seven, and we're going to be talking about personalized blankets. Um, I'm also going to show you what not to do, okay? Um, these are a customer order, and they want personalized blankets for their grandchildren. Um, I want you to take a look at this because I'm going to be refunding some money for the customer for this. My machine was a little offset. And it's because this is a little difficult to embroider. As you can see, these are downed, okay? They have feathers inside, very, very slippery, see? So it can be kind of difficult to put in your machine and embroider it. Once I saw that there was slippage, okay, I was make, able to make some correction. So as you can see, the rest of the name came out okay. But I don't want, I want the customer to be aware of that, okay? Because I just, like I said, when things leave your shop, you be honest and true and um, make sure everything is top-notch quality. I'll even replace this if she wants me to. I'm okay with that. But um, look at this one. After I did this correctly, look at that. You don't see anything. Perfect, okay? So she ordered three. These are the two, okay? As you can see, this one had a little mishap and everything. And it, you know, I just want you guys to know how to properly hoop this because as you can see, these are um, downed blankets and they're two ply. See, they're two colors and there's feathers inside. So I know you can't feel it, but if you, you know, it's very, very slippery in here. So these can slip and when these, the bottom um, fabric and the top fabric slips, okay, you can end up with this. Okay, so I just want to make sure that I show you guys how to um, properly hoop this and embroider these type of blankets because of the slippage. Okay, these can be pretty, pretty tricky, but as you can see, got it right this time. Okay, I was able to really um, do what I needed to do to get this one nice and solid. Okay, so I got one more to go, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to um, show you guys exactly how to hoop it. So let's head over to the sewing room. Okay, everybody, here we are in the sewing room, and I'm going to show you exactly how I am going to embroider, I mean, well, hoop this, okay? Like I mentioned before, this is really tricky because, see, it's two-ply, and there's like feathers in it. So as you can see, you could just move it around. So this can shift, and as you saw in the first blanket, on the first couple of letters, it was like a little bit of, you know misalignment and stuff so you have to try to get this as solid as possible in the hoop so that way there is very little shifting because of the way it is okay so this is the actual corner where i'm going to end up putting the name on i'm going to do my tear away stabilizer on this okay and what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be hooping this this is a lot of blanket okay so um what I usually do is I kind of put some of it behind the hooping station, okay? Because I don't want like any kind of shifting, okay? So I'm gonna have this like this, and then let's see, I'm gonna put some of this in here behind, so that way it's nice and stable, and I don't have like the pulling, right? And so I want to make sure you see what I'm doing. Okay, yep, you do. You see what I'm doing. All right, so you want to avoid that pulling, okay, because you want to actually put this in here. Now, you're going to make sure you align it the way you want it. Okay, and I am smoothing it down. So I'm trying to make it as flat as I possibly can, okay? Um, there we go. All right, I'm also going to use topper, okay? And I'm going to cut enough topper here. Let me see if you guys can see everything. Yeah, so I'm going to cut enough topper, like around 13 inches of it. All right, because what I want to do, let me just make sure you see everything. Okay, I'm going to put this on here. All right. I'm not going to do a trace or anything. You can do a trace if you want, but I'm not going to do a trace because I don't want any additional holes in this blanket. All right. There we 
so. All right, as you can see, look, it's fluffy. It is fluffy, okay? So, all right, so where is, okay, here it is. Here's the top of this. So I'm going to put my, my e-hoop on here. All right, so as you can see, very, very fluffy, right? So what I'm going to do is on the sides, okay, you're going to pull because what you want to do is you want to make this as flat as possible. Even pull towards here, okay? You want to make it as flat as possible because you don't want this stuff shifting. Just pull as much as you possibly can, you know, because it's just to make it as flat as possible. You don't want any type of shifting, okay? You want to try to prevent that. Another thing also is slow down the machine, okay? And there we go. All right, so I got it, okay? So it is as flat as I can possibly make it. Um, and I have to be honest, I am not exactly a fan of these types and, you know, but eh, it is what it is. You're not going to get better if you, you know, if you shy away from certain materials. You have to learn, right? So I am pushing it down. I think I'm good. I'm solid. Okay, there is still a little fluff because you got to remember there's feathers in here, but that's okay. All right, the thing is you don't want it to shift. So now I'm going to take this, put it on the machine. Let's see how it stitches out. Okay, guys, I just want you guys to see exactly how I have it laid out. And let me um, move this over so that you guys can get a better view. Now, just as a precaution, okay, when I have a blanket that's kind of heavy like this, I really am not a fan of just letting things just drape. Okay, so what I'm the things that I really enjoy about this um, rolling table is that I get to roll it around the room as I need it. So... I actually am laying this blanket right on the table, okay? And just so that you can see as I lift it up, okay, it kind of, I can push this right against this, okay? I mean, I, I don't like put it right against it, but you know, enough so that this weight can just sit right here. And then I like things to just, you know, just, lay and drape okay that way it's nice and easy and you don't have like you know i don't want extra weight to be pulling and stuff like that because you got to remember also this is very slippery right so any type of pulling of the weight you can actually shift the fabric and then it's going to be really hard to embroider okay so the name i'm going to be doing on here is pretty short it's eli okay e-l-i and um I got the, the, um, the thread already in the machine. It's going to be a gray thread, you know, to match the back of the blanket. So it's going to look really, really cute. Um, I'm going to hit embroidery. I have this down at 700. I'm going to lower it down to 600 because I, I don't mind it taking its time. And it's a seven minute stitch. Everything looks good. Okay. I'm actually going to bring the camera closer because I want you guys to see as I stitch it, okay, how it looks. I have my topper on there, and hopefully nothing happens and everything goes okay, all right? So I'm going to hit okay, and I'm going to start the embroidery. But as always, hold on, I'm going to return. Um, I just want to do a quick trace, okay? The reason why I like doing the trace is because I like to make sure that the blanket is going to move freely. There's nothing caught or anything like that. It looks like it's going to be just fine. Okay, awesome. All right, so let me just do this just one more time. I always like to double check. Um, yeah, I'm good. Gorgeous. Okay, it's going to come out really, really nice. It's fine. All right, awesome. Okay, so I am going to go ahead. I'm going to hit embroidery on the machine. I'm going to unlock it. And I'm just going to let it do its thing. All right. So let's see how this comes out.
Okay, this is done and I think this came out really, really nice. So I'm going to take this out of the um, out of the table. Let me move you guys a little bit over here. Okay, and I'm going to take this out and let's take a look at this really closely and see if we hit the mark. Okay, pretty bummed out about the first one, but that's okay, you know, it happens, right? Perfect, perfect. That was the key, that was the key, and um, oh, I hate that I didn't do that, but it, that's fine, that's fine. Um, I can redo it for the customer, I'll give him another blanket, all right. Oh my goodness, I'm taking out all the, um, Topper now. Okay, and let me put this here on the side for now. And put those stabilizer in the back. I'm just gonna rip that out. It's fine. Came out really nice. Okay, all right. So we're gonna moment of truth. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around. I'm gonna bring you guys over to the table so that you guys can take a look at it and see how how good it looks. And, um, yeah, so I just have some topper that I have to just remove. But you guys know. Okay, so I am going to bring you guys over. Let's give you guys a close-up. Okay, and there you go. There you go. And, of course, um, let me see this. Let's expand this over here. You guys can see. Okay, so as you guys can see, I do have a little bit of topping right here. So I just got some little tweezers. There you go. Got it out. Looks good. A little tweezer in here too. Put it underneath. Push it up. There you go. Oh my God. This is solid. This is solid. See what I'm talking about. This is how it should be. Okay? Looks good. Looks really, really good. I don't have that craziness going on. Okay? So, guys, I like. I hope you like this video. This was pretty quick. Small name and stuff. Like I said, very, very... Look how, look how slippery this is. See? Because it has feathers in here. That's why. You know? So, it's very, very slippery. But you got to make sure that you hoop this in such a way that it's not going to shift. Because remember, when you're, st you're stitching... The machine is moving this back and forward and stuff. And as it moves it back and forward, this can shift. And then next thing you know, you saw what happened to the first one. So, guys, I hope you like this video. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And happy holidays. And I um, hope all these series are really giving you a lot of good ideas of things you can do for your family and your friends for the holidays. I mean, cute gift ideas. You know, real simple, especially this one. This one's really, really simple. And it doesn't have to be this type of blanket, guys. You can you can go and get all different types of blanket blankets, you know, the, the twin sizes or the queens or the kings. And you can just write in the corner, just embroider their name or something like that. And they're going to love it. Perfect Christmas gifts. So I will talk to you guys later. Um, and if you can, join me on Fridays for Embroidery Happy Hour, 8 o'clock. And like I said, please give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. Happy holidays, everyone. Talk to you guys later. Bye.